um, the, um, stuff that goes, or, like, this part right here, it's, like, squishy a little bit, it's, like, rubbery, so it feels really nice against your skin, and it's bendy, um, also, in the nose, like, those nose things, um, it's the same material, I believe, and if it's not, feels the same, and, um, these are, these are Rollins, I'm not sure if I said that already, but I also like the colors are nice with the blue, the purple, and then like the darkish, I have no idea what kind of color that is, or what the name of that color is, but, so yeah, um, they are about $34, $34.99 at Dick's Sporting Goods, and yeah, that's where I got them, and that's how much I got them for. Yeah, they're really, really nice. Next, I have the 2014 Easton XL1. This is a monster bag. The pop is just amazing. And, um, it is, um, pre uh, it's IMX Composite, Advanced Composite piece they didn't do um that much the graphics which well like they didn't focus that much on the graphics like at all but the graphics i think are that they do have um are pretty nice i've had this thing for about three three weeks and it's about four days to christmas of 2013 i mean yeah, it's 2013 and it's about four days till Christmas. Um, the grip is really nice. The only bad thing is, like, it's not bad. I mean, it, it's going to happen eventually, but, like, happens really quick since the grip is, um, yellow. So it easily gets, you know, um, messed up or, you know... It just gets a lot of dirt on it. If the grip is so thick, it's so sticky. It's still really sticky right now. Um, um, I am swinging a 3020. This thing is very end loaded. Um, yeah, it's really, really nice. I got it for about uh, 230 at Dick's, $230. Um, two piece, yeah, it's, it's nice, really nice, that almost everyone on my team wants to use it. And then I do play travel ball, and, um, so I do have a 2013 S1 big barrel, easy, so, yeah, it's also a really nice bag. And a lot of people like it. 30, 20. Except the weight, it's not unloaded because most of the weight's in the hand, so it's faster. Doesn't have as much as mass. Still, 30, 20. It's really, really, really nice bag. Um, yeah, I've had this for, I don't know, a really long time. Not, not like, not as, not quite a year, but I have had it for quite a while. Next, I'll show you my Evo Shield. Um, you can use it for batting, or you can also use it for infield, outfield, on the center fielder. So I do use this. Um, it's really, really nice. This is the pad. That's mine. I sort of messed up on it. Messed up on it. Anyway, it's not that much of a big deal. Um, this is like the part where you put your arm through, and then this is where you put the guard in. Yeah, so yeah. Next, I'll show you my baseball glove. It's really nice. It is 
a outfield, maybe pitching, I'm not sure. It is a Rawlings Gold Glove Elite Dull Core Tech. Dull Tech Core, something like that, whatever. Um, really nice to have a huge pocket with this thing. I am a center fielder. And the weird thing is, since this is the best glove I've ever had, but, but this is a weird thing. I keep every fingers at my pointer and my thumb in the pink B spot to get an extra big pocket. And that might just be because this one fits different than my, um, all my other gloves. Because my, my two other gloves were cheap, crappy um, Louisville Slugger. Well, no offense to them because some of their gloves are gloves are actually really nice, but the one, the two ones that I have were really, were really bad. Like, they weren't that bad, but like, they were just cheap. This one's really, really nice. It's really nice. Then I will show you my batting helmet, Easton, as well. I have a good amount of, oh, sorry. I have a good amount of Easton products. This is it. It's a nice helmet. It's got nice padding for when it did used to be new. This I've had it sort of for not like kind of a while, not really. It's a very nice helmet and I do recommend this. Yeah. Next, I will show you my batting gloves. They are Franklin batting gloves. They're pretty nice. Franklin. And they do have a little bit of padding. Um, sort of, as you can see right here. I'm not sure you can use, oh, right there. And right there, and... Yeah, then that they're the same on um, each glove is the same. Now my Evo Shield elbow guard. This thing is so helpful, really nice. Um, it's really really nice. It fits comfortable. But it's custom made to your elbow, and then. It's got this nice elastic, or not, it's like elastic slash velcro, because it's elastic right here, and then there's velcro right there, and yeah, um, now my bat bag, my bat, or my baseball bag, whatever you want to call it, it's pretty nice, there's only one sort of bad thing about it, it's, it only, it only, oh, sorry, it only carries, or no, um, sorry, um, it doesn't have, like, a, a hook or whatever to, um, like, clip onto the fence, so I had to, like, add a little hook, or, to like add a little clip, whatever it has, um, it can carry up to about two bats, just two bats. Sorry, not about. Um, there's a bat thing on each side, and then it has one, two, th one, two, th three, four, four pockets. There is a pocket right here. My pockets sort of are really messy. So yeah. That's one pocket. It can fit about my hand in there. It's pretty wide. Then I've got this pocket, the main pocket I guess. It's pretty big. Then I have my pocket that's sorry. 
this pocket right here. I keep all my seeds in there. And then at the bottom, there is a spot for your cleats that you can put your cleats in and stuff. And there's just a bag of seeds in there. So yeah, this is my um baseball stuff. Um please comment and subscribe, tell me what you think. And um sorry. And um yeah. Um oh by the way, this is like my first video I've made to post on YouTube.